Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the LA Clippers and how they made it to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in their franchise's history. <music> Los Angeles Clippers won a 131-119 victory in Game 6 versus the Utah Jazz after the Utah Jazz won the first two games of the series. And a lot of that has to do with Los Angeles Clippers winning Terrence Mann, who put up 39 points and led the LA Clippers in scoring and was... A very, very unexpected sequence that happened in Game 6. In the fourth quarter for the LA Clippers, everyone was hitting their threes. Heck, even defensive pest Patrick Beverly, who isn't known for his shooting, was knocking down threes. PG-13 was knocking down threes, and this was all without Kawhi Leonard. Paul George added 28 points for the Clips, and Reggie Jackson added 27 as he poured in that many points. French native Nick Batum had 16 points while Patrick Beverly poured in 12. The Utah Jazz were up for most of the game, but in the third quarter, the Clippers struck back and defied all odds, which caused Utah to panic. Utah thought they were going to a game seven, but Terrence Mann showed them that that wasn't going to happen. When you are the home team up 3-2, at home in game six, you really have to take care of business because you don't want to go to a game seven on the other home team's floor. And that's what happened. The Los Angeles Clippers defied all odds, even with Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, and all of the Utah Jazz starters playing. Terrence Mann's incredible Game 6 performance will go down as one of the greatest performances in the NBA playoffs that anyone has ever seen. And I would not be surprised if Terrence Mann goes on to be a superstar next season and averages something like 18 points a game. The Clippers were up seven with five minutes to go. PG kicked it out to Nicholas Batum, who kicked it out to the hot hand. Terrence Mann, who knocked down a three. And number 14, Terrence Mann, was showing off his celebration. Now, I do want to be fair to the Utah Jazz because Mike Connolly was injured in game six. And Donovan Mitchell was injured in game six. And they were both questionable for the game, which made them not as well rested and they did not play as well as they usually would so who knows if donovan mitchell and mike conley didn't get injured maybe utah would have won this series but if it wasn't for terrence mann the los angeles clippers never would have come this far with two minutes left up eight it's important to get a good high quality shot down without pretty much five seconds on the shot clock, and that's what they did. The Utah Jazz came right back, though, and Royce O'Neal knocked down a triple. Then the Los Angeles Clippers came back on offense, and Paul George kicked it out to Reggie Jackson, who kicked it to the open man, who was Patrick Beverly sitting in the corner for a wide-open three-point field goal. You have to feel pretty bad for Utah, and you can just see the disgust in Donovan Mitchell's face as they lose the series, because they were the one seed. But the Los Angeles Clippers won the series because of a player that most people have never even heard of. Terrence Mann scored 39 points and will forever be remembered as the hero of Game 6 to put put the Los Angeles Clippers to win the series and go to their first Western Conference Finals ever. In 36 minutes, Terrence Mann also grabbed two rebounds and added one assist in the game. His teammates showered him with love after the game, literally, with tons of Gatorade water bottles flying his way. It's just inevitable what Terrence Mann did. Just remember, especially young players, just because you're not the best player on your team right now does not mean that you won't be in even a few months or even a few years. But after the game, Terrence Mann told the reporters that he could not have done this without his teammates, courtesy of Paul George, 
you know, Patrick Beverly, tons of other guys as well. So, and don't forget Reggie Jackson. But Ty Lu, coach of the Los Angeles Clippers and his team, are going to the Western Conference Finals to play the Phoenix Suns. And this will be a great series. I think it'll be better than the Suns Nugget series. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Click subscribe to notifications on. Like, share, comment, all the good stuff. And as always, I'm your boy, Happy River Basketball, and we're out.